Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. Complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise... I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Woo! All right, boys. Let's proceed on foot from here. Head for the fort. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. That was some pretty damn good shooting, John. Yep. Maybe you ain't the tenderfoot I thought you was. 
Coming from you, friend? That's a real compliment. Follow me! Would be nice, Marston. Sweet mother of God! Careful. They might kill what you hear. They're trying to stop again. You got him good! You best shoot me now or this is over! Twins got themselves an army. Yeah, rustling's a profitable business. And they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Why'd a man break his back working 12 hours a day for a rancher who can't afford to pay him? But the rancher can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. We got to get to that ridge! should intersect with ours right up here. I hope he's all right. I should have gone with him. He'll be fine. He prefers working alone. Always has. You ain't leaving Pike's Basin alive! More of these son of bitches! Smoking boys! Are you kidding me? Let's regroup. 
This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. You shallow without a reading, boy. We're going to make this town real smoky. Marston, all you gotta do is point it and pull the trigger. Follow me. Hellfire. <sighs> Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You'd say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and back piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. <laughs> 